in this video we want to reproduce the figure at the right hand side of the screen now the first thing we'll do is to draw the horizontal line this way paint line first of all with the help of our t square right with the help of our t square now we're going to take our c square I will place it on our T-square, marking a point, let's say this is our first point here. Then I will move my T-square, my C-square or my T-square until I get to that point. I will now draw a vertical line, faint line first of all. And on that line, if you look at what we have in the figure, at the right hand side of the screen discover that the line there's a box in front of the 90 that box is means a square and that we have a 90 there it means that we know a square is a plane figure that all its sides are equal so it means that all the side of this figure is 90 the vertical the height is 90 the length is 90 now i will take my rule and i'm going to measure 90 so from here, I'll measure 90 this way. So from 0 to 9 is 90, right? I'll come again from 0 to 9 is 90 at this point here, right? I will not take my says my t square i will move it to this point i will draw a line this way you can see that i'll move it again to this point i will draw another line from this point again this way now since i'm very sure where i'm going to so i'm going to chicken from here to here So taking from here to here, as shown in the video, from here to here, also from here to here to from here to here also. can see that that is the first thing we are to do now the next thing we'll be doing is if you look at the figure at the right hand side discover that we have three division from here to here is one division from here to here is another division from here to here is another division right so I'm going that is three division if you divide three by 90 we have in 30 so in between each division is what is 30 millimeter now place my rule this way this is from 0 to 90 so i'll start from 0 to 1 is 10 from 0 to 2 is 20 from 0 to 3 is 30 now when well, i'm starting from 3 again 3 is now 0 so from 3 which is 0 this is 10 20 30 another 30 now 6 also is now 0 since so i'm starting from 6 so from 6 is 0 10 20 30 so that is the three division from 0 to 90 i will now take my t square move it to this point and i'll draw this will call a tick line we're using a tick line here this way i'll do that and i also do that in the horizontal also in the horizontal line also we have three div division also i'll do the same thing so from here to here is one division from here to another division from here to here then add division making three division so three divided by 90 we still have the same thing which is 30 so i'm going to do the same thing here also i'll measure 30 from 0 to 3 is 30 from 3 to 6 is another 30 and we have this and i'll take my meter rule my c square i'll place it on my t square to that move it to that point and i'm going to draw 
a vertical line. I'll come to the next one also. I'll draw another vertical line. So that is my visible, my thick line here. Now, if you discover that at the center here, right, I'm having um, dashes here, right? So all these evenly distributed dashes are called hidden lines. So I'm going to do my hidden line at this point from here to here. So this will call that's how we represent our hidden line. So if I place it from this point to this point, so you write along everything should be short. This is what we call hidden line. I will say that the hidden line are used to show hidden features. And I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing. Just this way. I'll move in this way. You can see that? That is the first one we'll do. Now the next one is if you look at the effects box here, right? It is distance is 30 from here to here is 30, which is um 10 millimeter each so we have to demarcation this is one two and three so if you divide three by 30 that is 10 so it means that if i place my meter rule at this point here so i'll be having it this way from one to two from zero to one is 10 from one to two is another 10 right similarly at the third box also or let me do that one at a time I will not take my meter rule at this first box up here and this last box here they are the same thing so I'll just draw a line from my um, with the help of my T square and C square I'll draw a straight line from here that will touch this I'll leave the space I'll come here draw it out I'll touch this you can see that to save our time I'll come to the next one too I'll do the same thing, draw a line from here, I'll touch here, leave this and come here. You can see that? Then I'll go to the other side too, the same thing is repeated in the other side, right? Because it's a mirror image of each other. So I'm going to measure 30 also from here. So from here, this 30, so 10, 10 millimeter each, this is 10, 0 to 1 is 10, 1 to 2 is 10, then 2 to 3 is another 10. And I'll do the same thing here. Draw a line from this point straight down to here, leave a space. Come here, also do the same thing. Then come here, draw a line from this point, reach here. Come here, also do the other one here. So, this is another point that we have there, right? Now, if you look at the right hand side, so that we have horizontal line at the column, the second box along the y axis. So, this is what I mean this box here. And this box here so we also have the demarcation from here to here is one from here to here is another one from here to here is another one making three demarcation right and three divided by 30 that is 10 so i'm going to measure 10 10 millimeter vertically also so from here to here this is 10 this is another 10 right so instead of me coming here to do 10 again i'll just use the help of my c squared that i told you it is just for drawing a horizontal line I'll move from here, I'll draw a line this way, leave the space, come here, do another one. You can see that? Come to the next point also, do the same thing, draw a line, leave the space, come to the other point, and draw another one. You can see that? Now, the next thing is the vertical line also, as in the second box horizontally, this box here, this and this. We still have three demarcation there, it divided by 30 because the distance from here to here is 30. I divide it by 3, you'll be having 10 millimeter each. So I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing here also. Measure 10 from 0 to 1 is 10 millimeter, which is as 1 centimeter. For 1 to 2 is another 10 also. I'll come down here too, I'll do the same thing. From 0, here is what? 10. From here also is 10. So with the help of my T square, I'll move it to this point. Alright, I'll draw a horizontal line this way. I move to this point, draw another horizontal line this way. I'll come up also, I'll do the same thing. Draw this this way. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to draw this this way. You can see that? So we've drawn out the shape out. Now the next thing we have to do is the dimension. 
Now in doing the dimension in here, I will just draw a line this point here, this way. Just a line like this. Do not touch my diagram. I'll come up also. I'll draw another line also. Do not touch my diagram. I'll now take my T square and my C square. This is my C square, my T square. I'll now draw a vertical line this way. So at that point, I'll draw this an arrow at each end. Can you see that? Also, at this point also, I'll draw a line too, separating them. From here also, draw another line too, this way. So I'll draw an arrow at this end here. Also at this end here. Also at this end here. Also at this end here. Now each of them is 30. So if I come here, I'll write my 30. It should not touch the line. 30 also should not touch the line. 30 also should not touch the line. You can see that? Now the next one is here. I'll do the same thing here also. Draw a line this way. And I'll do this. My arrow at the end. My arrow at the end. So I'll do the box. Alright, 90. I see that? And I'll take in this end here. And also this end here. Now the next one is in between here. So I can just do this this way. I'll draw a line this way. And draw a smaller arrow here. See that this is 10, this is 10, and this is 10. So that will give us 30. So we we'll successfully reproduce the figure we have in our right hand side. And the aim of drawing this is for we to understand the different types of line. We've used the different types of line, we've used the dimension, we use the tick line, I also use what what's called the hidden line, right? So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and also click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.